Well, welcome back. Today I'm going to make some boilies. Uh, this is a different uh, flavor than I've made. It's going to be the Lucky Charms. This is the generic version with the marshmallows. And uh, I'm also going to be trying something a little bit different that I haven't uh, tried in previous recipes. So uh, let's get going. First things first, grind up some of this cereal in the food processor. And to start with, I'm going to grind this really fine into a powder. I'll show you why later. Put that in the bowl. One more round. And that ended up being probably two thirds of the bag. I don't know, this is a 11 and a half ounce box. Here's our powdered cereal. Okay, set the cereal aside. Now I'm going to uh, beat up two eggs. Okay. Next, I'm going to add to the eggs some cream corn. And I'm going to add about half of this can of cream corn into the eggs. Mix that together. Now it's time for gloves. Don't have to wear gloves, but I like to. It makes cleaning your hands easier. So we've got our powdered cereal here. And I'm going to add the eggs and the cream corn mixture to that. And now I'm just going to start mixing it up. Once we get all the liquid and the cereal kind of incorporated together, you're going to have like a paste. Just a gooey kind of mush. Now it's time to start adding some flour. Now I don't do measurements. You know, you don't need to do measurements. I just, you throw some flour in and you mix it and if it's too wet, add more flour. If it's too dry, add some more cream corn back in until you get like a dough consistency. Okay, so this is a pretty thick, thick paste now. Here's what I'm going to do different that I've uh, never done in, in previous boily recipes. I'm going to add some of the whole cereal into this wet paste here. And I'm going to put quite a bit in. A little bit more. And I'm going to mix in this whole cereal with the paste. And the idea behind this is, is that this these cereal, these whole pieces of cereal, they're buoyant. They float. These marshmallows and these pieces of cereal, they float. So, so with the whole pieces in there, when I make these boilies, each boilie is going to have, you know, a few chunks of this whole cereal in there. And it's going to be a little bit more buoyant than just a uh, regular boilie that's just sitting on the bottom. And it's going to, when the cart comes up and uh, sucks it up into its mouth to taste it or to eat it, it's going to lift up off the bottom just a little bit easier. And I, I think it might just, you know, it might just be splitting hairs. It might not make a big difference, but I wanted to try it. And I think it'll, it, it, it might result in better hookup rates. And I wanted to add some flour in this first before I put the the whole uh, chunks of cereal in so that they would stay, they wouldn't get waterlogged and they would still have their buoyant properties. So now that, now that I've done that, I'm going to put some more flour in. Again, who cares about measurements? Just, just mix it up. This doesn't need to be precise. We're not baking a cake for the queen here. Just making fish bait. And I'm just going to keep adding flour little by little until I get it just the right consistency so that's a dough and not a paste. And what I mean by that is that's like a dough will hold its own shape. It'll stick to itself and it'll hold its own shape and uh, be kind of rubbery and stretchy. Okay, we're getting close here now. I'm able to 
mash it into a ball. Now you just need to knead it for a few minutes. I just smush it with my hand and fold it in half and smush it again. Do this for five minutes or so. I don't know, a few minutes until it starts feeling real nice and rubbery. And you know you've got it right at the right consistency when you try and pull it apart. And you see just like it's stretching like that. This is ready to go. Okay, here's the dough. You can see there's the, the chunks of the whole cereal all in there. And uh, now it's time to make the boilies. And a, a piece of dough this size will probably make 50, 60, or more boilies, depending on how big you make them. You don't need to make a huge ball of dough because you're going to get a lot of boilies out of this. And you can make this as simple or as complicated a process as you want in making the boilies. I just pull off a pinch, roll it between my hands, and that's it. That's a lot of boilies. In the boiling water they go. And they're sticking together right now, but they won't do that once they hit the water. There we go. We're gonna let these cook in this water about five minutes. Okay, I'm just going to take them out of the boiling water with a slotted spoon, put them on this uh, cookie sheet lined with a paper towel. And you're going to want to let these dry for several hours at a minimum, even overnight. We find you want them to dry until they get a nice skin on the outside and they'll harden up a little bit. And then they'll be ready to fish. As for storage, you're going to want to keep these in the freezer or the, just the refrigerator if you're going to use them in the next few days or something, but they'll keep a long time in the freezer for months. Just take some out when you need them. So I'm going to let these dry here for a couple hours and uh, I'll come back and uh, give you a close-up look uh, what, they look, what they look like when they're dried. Okay, well these have been sitting out for about three hours almost. They're uh, kind of dried out. I'm going to let them sit out, sit out a little bit longer, but they've got a nice skin on them. And uh, I get it to focus here. There we go. So you can see the nice skin. They're just a, a brownish, tannish color. I think uh, some of the, the whole marshmallows that were in there probably melted when it cooked, but I'm positive that some of the whole pieces of cereal are, are still intact because um, I was messing around with these like some of these like actually float so that's interesting I think my theory about the buoyancy uh, is true that these are probably a little more buoyant than a regular bottom boilie and the scent on these I mean it just smells like that cereal it smells like that sweet marshmallowy cereal and I can smell the cream corn a little bit too. So I hope you found that useful. Hopefully it helped you catch a few more fish. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you in the next one.